Greetings, Earthlings, this is my introduction. They say greatness doesn't come overnight, so I'm not rushing. Spaced out swag, best believe I'm paper touching. Super stupid flow, and you bitches can't tell them nothing. UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding. All I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand. UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding. All I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand me. Got a sense for drama, so I always keep the cannon. This is the invasion, so watch out for our landing. Standing tall, never too far. Spring and summer fashion, bro, I get it in the fall. Y'all about to start hating, and I don't mind at all. I'm a thriller like MJ, and my flow is off the wall. Hooray, hooray. It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. They not from around here. I think it's in their face. Who they? Who they? They not around here. It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. They not from around here. I think it's in their face. Greetings, Earthlings. I am Walt. Life like there's no tomorrow. Chris King K G N O O B. What homes you ain't know? We're U F O. Cargo khakis, polos, and fresh kicks. That's the definition of what the cargo kids is. S O S yes, space style swagger. I never do anything right. I'm backwards. I'm so galactic, so erratic. You niggas want my old swag? You can have it. The world is mine, and your girl is too. So do us a favor, make room for the crew. Why? Who they? Who they? They're not from around. It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's in their face. Hey, out there, this Camethia, also known as Mookie around the city. I have here Knockout Health and Wellness, your new boxing and fitness virtual assistant and app. You can video chat with trainers, queue up previous sessions, request libraries of various workouts fully customizable workouts to fit your boxing needs in home. Form, technique, character building, strength, endurance, meal prepping. Hey, knock that out. Knockout Health and Wellness. Download on your smartphone today.
And we are. And we live, baby. Hey, another episode on the mothership. How you guys doing? Hello? It's the Who That Boys. We back. Oh my God, we're back again. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's B, as always, and we got uh, Captain Paco. What's up, what's up? And we have a special guest. Um, it's been a while since he was on the show. Yeah. Uh, that was like, what, season one? Were we still in season one? Yeah. 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 But our uh, friend of the show, the uh, ever wonderfully talented Mr. James McVeigh. Thank you for for joining. Hit a hit, hit a. Uh, a, uh, a uh, oh, go. I got the air horn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm great. That's yeah. wonderful. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. That's what's up. Oh, Pac, I'm sorry. How you doing? Oh, I'm good, man. Good? Just another day, and uh, you know, life is treating you right. Another day on the mothership, baby. Someday when up. the Titans wins, a good day with me. Hey, yeah, yeah, shout yeah, out yeah, to the Titans. Sure. Should have bet sure. with y'all today. I. I See, I can't be betting on my team. I gotta. Yeah, yeah screw on up. Get on in there. More. She can get close yeah. on that mic. All right, there we I gotta, go. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta have more faith in the Titans, but I should have bet with y'all. I should have bet with y'all. Yeah, y'all for are sure. Doing really good. What, sure. What's the record? Nine four. Yeah, yeah I think like so. That. that sounds right. Man, that's 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 slide this up. camera over a little bit here. I shaping up to be a good year. Shaping up to be a good year. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Knock, 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 knock. Oh, come on now. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, it looks there like you I'm go. back in the frame. Yeah, Ooh. back in it. Back uh, in it. All right. Good deal. So, <laughs> so yeah, today we are going to be discussing uh, weed legalization. Now, are we legalizing or decriminalizing? Like, how is this? How does that work, James? Okay. Well, first of all, we ain't done shit. I mean, yeah, I know. So you, okay. So, the way the process works is either one of the houses of Congress, uh-huh. either the, the House of Representatives or the Senate, uh-huh. um, they file a bill, okay. and if they can vote on it and pass it, the other chamber has to vote on it and pass it. Okay. Uh, if both of them do, it goes to the president's desk, and the president can sign it or not. Right. Uh, if the president doesn't sign it, if they have enough votes, they can re-vote on it to overturn his veto, essentially. Okay. Um, but where we're at right now with this newest bill is the House has passed it. Okay. Uh, it will go to the Senate, and I don't know if y'all know anything about the Senate, but it's full of a bunch of really rich old white footy duddies yeah, led yeah, by it's... the richest and whitest of footy duddies, uh, Mitch McConnell <laughs> of Kentucky. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if he's going to let that happen. <laughs> that be seen turtle. as too much of a victory for the Democratic Party. I you don't think, think it's going to fly? Well, it may may not. I, I, I don't think so this time around, simply because I think – if Mitch McConnell was going to let it pass, he'd want his own version out right. so that he gets the credit for it right? instead of the Democrats getting the credit for it. So it's an ego mm-hmm. thing at this it point. It is. Oh, definitely. Definitely oh, an ego yeah. thing. Oh, yeah, for Mitch McConnell, it's definitely an ego thing. Life uh, as a turtle is hard out here, man. That's right, man. Mm-hmm. Cocaine Mitch is serious about mm-hmm. it. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> what are some of the biggest misconceptions you think of, of what's going on right now? Like, people see it and they're just like, ooh, yeah, yeah, it's, fire you know, The House passed a bill. Like, we legalize marijuana. No, okay, first of all, what the bill does is it decriminalizes marijuana by taking it off of the Controlled Substances Act. Right. All right, so this is where it gets a little bit complicated. But essentially, you have... The FDA regulates certain medications and and, uh, and substances in right. different realms based on their medicinal value. Okay. Right? Like so, uh, say Schedule Two, you'll find cocaine's on there because it's a numbing agent. Yeah. Okay. And it, it's actually used by hospitals occasionally for like local anesthetic. Yeah. Uh, you'll find uh, amphetamines and methamphetamine and all that are Schedule Two as well. Because obviously you could be prescribed Adderall and things like that. That's right. amphetamine. Right. Right. You right. know, right. It, has its, it has its own value as a as a medication for uh, ADHD yeah. and things like that. Uh, for some archaic reason, marijuana is Schedule One, which means it has no medicinal value. It is illegal in all forms and facets. Mm-hmm. The only other drugs that I can think of off the top of my head that are Schedule One are like LSD, yeah, mushrooms, uh, or psilocybin. Uh, mm-hmm. The stuff that actually does have medicinal value. Yeah, the things right, that you can right, make an right. argument that might have medicinal value. Yeah. <laughs> like schedule one. You know, but like heroin, heroin, schedule two. <laughs> right. like, schedule that's cool. Two. I it's think ruining <laughs> whole communities. Yes, you know. It has some things that are applicable. <laughs> cocaine, crack cocaine, schedule two. All right. Oh, see? And see what's crazy. Is, out here. Yeah, the so. shrooms, they they treat depression. 
weed treats chronic pains and seizures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, oh, sure, like, sure. Like, so to just turn a blind eye, like, like I feel like I weed was... Is it gets LSD really treats boredom. <laughs> you know, that's really the problem, is it gets you high. Yeah. Yes. You know, well... It gets you high. I think weed... And it has a high propensity for abuse in that sense, especially, like, LSD, mushrooms. Yes, they do have medicinal value. There are studies that show... They, they can be used for depression, PTSD, things like this in clinical settings with a psychiatrist or whatever. Right. The, you know, for certain types of, uh, of, of therapy mm-hmm. can be used. Mm-hmm. However, you know, generally speaking, I don't know if you've ever used mushrooms for, uh, or anybody that you know has used mushrooms in a clinical setting for their PTSD no. or depression. No, of course mm-hmm. not. Well, one of the reasons is because it's Schedule 1. But right. the other reason is because normally we will use those things it's uh, to get really high. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, I mean, I understand that end, but I, man, we're not getting into that, I guess. I think one of the best things about shrooms is like, okay, yeah, you get high and you, you, you giggle for a few hours and you see little bullshit for a few But the best part about it is afterwards... You feel so clear, and you feel so... It's like a reset button on you mentally. Mm. I don't know if you guys ever got that feeling with shrooms, but for me, it always like burned any depression, anything I had on this. I could feel mm. it in here working. And then when it was all over and done with, it was like, you know, oh, I can breathe again. Wow. You know? Yeah. No. No. That sounds pretty amazing. Yeah. So when people say it treats depression and stuff, I believe it. I, I guess sure. it's I, rock like it. Yeah, I think I think that uh, this is the problem with Schedule One, in my opinion. Okay. Is that it, it's automatically not allowed. You can't right. use it in a clinical right, setting. Right. 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 But right. We right. have studies that show that you know in a clinical setting that it, it does exactly what you're talking about. Right. Yeah. So if they would move it to say Schedule Two or mm-hmm. even lower, you know, you would have. Uh, Possibly, we could actually find out if it does this or not. Right, you know, right. You could see people being helped by it if it were that case. Uh, so what this bill, though, with marijuana is doing is it's going to remove it completely from okay. scheduling systems controlled substance. All right. So it just deregulates the thing, essentially. Okay. The federal On a federal level, it is no longer criminal at all if, if that bill were to become law. So that would help a lot of the whole, the entire where, like, you know, the state has a legalization, but the feds are red and the, the exactly. weed shop. It, yeah. it ends all you that know, confusion. When, when, all when of that is Okay, done. so we won't talk about that. That's a really complicated facet. But oh, essentially... Yeah. Explain it to the folks. Yeah, I'll try. The easiest way I can do it is that uh, the first state, I believe, to legalize legalize marijuana recreationally was Colorado. If yes. I remember right. Hold on. Let's, let's set the mood real quick. Hold on here. California followed suit. I mean, you had... Um, you know, uh, but now we've got Michigan. like some, so we got, we're somewhere near like 12 states. Set or something. the mood for this conversation. Maine and Michigan, like, um, Massachusetts, I believe. Uh, Florida is medicinal. Florida is medicinal. Still, Florida right? passed medicinal. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. But either way, when it initially started, it was under Obama's presidency, and mm-hmm. Obama basically told the DEA, and they entered into what is something like a, similar to a, a policy position that said, we're not going to prosecute people for, you know, on a federal yeah. level for yeah. uh, for marijuana possession, things like that. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll follow your lead here, but we reserve the right to do it. No. However, when they did that, they didn't change any federal laws like banking laws or anything like that. So Damn. you had like Colorado, their first year of implementation, there was no way to have a bank account as a business. Because you you had to be a full cash business and you just operated in cash. Yeah. You know, uh-huh. because no FDIC insured bank. It's about the, you is, have it, a but they couldn't one. because the, it's, the liability is too high. Who knows when the DEA is like, well, fuck it, we're going to go ahead and uh, this, we're going to seize all the money in here because this is a crime. Wow. So, so that was a big Fucking fear. And so, terrible. like, when uh, Donald Trump took office, uh, he put Jeff Sessions in as his attorney general. Jeff Sessions was confirmed. Jeff Sessions, when he was a federal prosecutor and when he was a senator, was adamantly against marijuana. Mm. And so a lot of people were afraid at the time, like, you know, 
businessmen involved in marijuana trade legally in they these states was, were terrified. Right. They were thinking, well, what's going to happen if he rescinds this DEA policy? And right. they start raiding shops. Exactly. You know, exactly. like, I'm going to prison forever. You know, like, and I'm broke already. Yeah, I don't, and I'm I broke can't. as shit. They stole all my money and they froze it. And, you know, like, I can't get a lawyer. Can't do anything. Can't make bond. Yeah. Right, know, like, right. Yeah, so, so, but, so but he did rescind it. No, he, he uh, to his credit, no, he did not. Uh, yeah. Well, Jeff Sessions was pretty ineffective as attorney general anyway because of the whole Russian collusion investigation yeah. and all that. But, I mean, he had, he had fish his fish to fry. He, was, he, he much preferred rescinding DACA and trying to send immigrants back to their yeah. home countries. He had his hands he had, a, he had another. He had another racist yeah. policy. Just he, he was more interested. He didn't make it. To, he didn't get to the weed part. Yeah, right? yeah exactly. He was like, <laughs> at, least, at least the black communities speak English. Right. You know, like, that was really what it came down to. He was like, well, i got to prioritize my time, so right. I'm going to do everything I can to disenfranchise Hispanics. Yes. Oh, wow. I'm really going to make, make use of my time here. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other episode if you want to get into DACA and all that. Now, I'm not an immigration attorney, but I could talk a little bit about that. That's a different thing. We're, we're, so not, gonna, we're not going to go there today. Yeah, that's a whole yeah. other... Yeah, that's a... You know what I mean? So, but, if, if they... What do we... Oh, wow. What do you do? This transition? <laughs> the trippy stuff. So I wanted to set the mood a little bit. This right. is going to be some trippy shit that we're going to talk lines. about. Yeah, right. This is right. amazing. This is awesome. <laughs> right, so, uh, like, so let's say that the Senate does um, vote. Like, that they pick just, up the bill. They say, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll do this, and they, they approve it. Right, right, right. right. So, so it'll but, go to the president's desk at that point. And at that point, it's, it's it's still pretty unlikely dealing with the, who we have as president elect that it'll be that he'll sign it. Well, I haven't uh, heard him know, say so, that. It so was, here's the the funny thing about all of this is that the way politics works, uh-huh. these people don't actually have convictions. Normally. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, like I mean, outside of like your Bernie Sanders, for right. example, like Bernie, that man actually believes what he says. Right, yeah, right, know, right, he sticks right. To yeah. it. But generally speaking. Politicians are swayed by public opinion, mm-hmm. polls and poll numbers. What's going on? Mm-hmm. And, and money. Support for marijuana legalization <laughs> yeah, has increased significantly yeah, like in the last twenty years. Oh, I mean, oh, oh yeah, no, it's. Right. I mean, like we're talking the majority of the country, right? Even when you break it down to Republicans or Trump supporters, whatever, the majority of every mm-hmm. portion supports marijuana legalization. Mm-hmm. So to say that, you know, President Elect Joe Biden or President Trump, if it got there that quickly, mm-hmm. and said they wouldn't sign it. I'm, I'm not going to bet on that. I don't know. Uh, because, mm-hmm. again, like, that's a poll number situation. Nah, and they they and listen to those numbers swayed. and, like, well, the public wants it, which is the way it should be, right? I mean, we right. hire these people to represent the majority at least. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I mean, we want them to do the right thing no matter what. Right. But, right. but the idea is the majority elected them, so they should look out for the majority's wish mm-hmm. or wishes. Yeah, right, exactly. Right, Especially right. something that's, like, so. Like you said, it's, it's so supported from yeah. both ends across the aisle. Uh, and I mean, well, we want to get into the scientific arguments and whatnot. I mean, marijuana is nowhere near as harmful as tobacco or alcohol. Right. And we, or or caffeine. Or, well, yeah. uh, caffeine's addictive. It's more addictive than marijuana. But let me tell you, the, I, don't know the, I don't know what the harmful ends of that are. You especially ever, you ever tried to stop of, drinking caffeine and get them caffeine headaches for weeks upon weeks? Man, uh, fuck brother, it. I'm a lawyer. I don't stop drinking caffeine. <laughs> fuck the caffeine headache. Have you ever seen a mom of three without coffee for the first half of the day? Oh, I know. It's just dangerous. It's oh, dangerous. I would be terrified. <laughs> Ooh, fucked up like that. Yeah, right, right. right. Dangerous. So, yeah, the shit's out there. Yo, <laughs> mom shooting at kids and shit, kids <laughs> fighting back. <laughs> you know, like all kind of oh, shit yeah, going on. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, you don't want to see me if I don't have caffeine. Right. Yeah. You know, if I'm at work especially. Right. Like, I never I'm, felt I'm that way jail, about we. I've never felt. I've never felt that way like, oh, that nigga ain't got high today. I might not want to talk to him. No, no. no. Right. So good. what's more dangerous, caffeine or weed? Uh, uh, I mean, I've, I've known some botheads that are um, that are real pissy when they can't get yeah. high. Mm. But it's more, it's more no, to me, it's like, just like pissing and moaning, you know, yeah, exactly. like yeah. whiny little anybody, bitches. You know, it's, yeah. you know, we're not talking about like a, a crack fiend who's yeah, about to go yeah. break into your shed right. and steal your tools because they got to get high. <laughs> right, right, exactly. You know, that's not going to happen with marijuana. <laughs> 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 Thank God. What was the scene on, um, oh, what is it, with Dave Chappelle, the movie Half Baked, where he's like, 
You ever suck dick for yeah, crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was, a, that was a, uh, Bob Saget. Bob Saget. That's Bob right. Saget yeah, was in there. Yeah. Dad or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> He was like, you're in here for weed. Weed? I, I suck dick for crack. <laughs> yeah, so you ever suck dick for cocaine? Oh, yeah, for cocaine. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like, yeah. Well, so. Shout out to Bob Saget. Bob yeah. Saget. I love Bob him. Yeah. Saget. When I found out he was fucked up in, in like real life, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I like, no, Bob Saget stand up is nothing, nothing like, like family matters. Yeah. Nah, yeah. no. Nah, nah, full house. Full, full house. house. Full house. Yes. yes. Yeah, what, what a deception! Oh, yeah. Right. Like me. Yeah, you know when he was hosting uh, America's Funniest Home Videos. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, America's dad. You know, real nice guy. Well, he could, man, he, his stand up's raunch. He raunch. could only do that in that time frame, like in that time frame. In you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. to, he couldn't do that today. No, not this nah, era. Man, yeah. nah, everybody be blasting him. Yes, no they way. would know me. They'd be like, "This is the guy on America's yeah, Funniest they, Home Videos." <laughs> Twitter would have fucked his job up. Off yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> They're already reaching back, fucking oh, right. like reaching back to celebrities today. Oh, yeah, what about uh, Kevin uh, Hart? Called you know, it, you know? Okay, well, Kevin Hart, yeah, but Kevin no. Hart's problem is if he yeah. just don't want to, he yeah. don't want to say he's sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, really, like cats like Justin Roiland, right? Who made like the whatever that weird little short was way back in film school, like oh yeah, years yeah, ago, yeah, like the baby rape thing. Or whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, so did so you watch it though? It yeah, was it's pretty. It's it, pretty. Yeah, it, but it's, it's stupid. So like it's, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's and not, it's like, old. Realistic. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's supposed to be satire, right. and it's obvious that it is. Uh, it's not funny. No, it's not it's funny. Not, yeah. It's, it's, it's cringe like, worthy. Yeah, it's definitely cringe worthy. Yeah, but I mean, which you know, that's a Tim and Eric funny. style of comedy. That's true. Well, you wouldn't catch Tim or Eric doing that. They're no, super, they're on board with that Twitter canceling people. Oh, so I know. I know. Mm-hmm. They're all about that life. <laughs> it's just a shame. I don't really don't support that, but I do love Tim and Eric. And, yeah, but fucking uh, Rick and Morty got canceled so quick. Did it? Oh man, the uh, uh, what? Yeah. Hold Bro, on. we gonna have you gonna have listeners losing their shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean by I don't mean by like Adult Swim. I mean oh, the, okay. cancel, cancel culture. culture. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, it was yeah. so yeah. fast. Yeah. Like, it was so fucking quick. I was like, whoa. I, Cause I, I I'm part of the uh, the cult. I love Rick and Morty. Yeah, shit. who I got, doesn't, man? Rick and I got fucking hilarious. action figures at the house and shit, and I yeah. still gonna keep them. I don't give a fuck about y'all canceling shit. But um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is but not was, an endorsement of child rape. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, cancel culture. They tried to cancel a uh, baby Yoda. What Grogu? Or... Well, oh man, they tried to cancel Grogu. Yeah, they tried to cancel him because he ate. Un- oh, the this? eggs. Oh, the eggs. The man. eggs. Yeah, look, look, we got a Chevy ad behind us. How did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. So I watched that yeah, episode, and I'm not trying to drop spoilers with the little egg thing. Yeah, I was like, what bro, eggs? control that baby. Okay, on Mandalorian. He ate some. He this woman was carrying. I mean, it's an alien woman was carrying her unfertilized eggs. She was a frog creature, and she was carrying them in this canister. Yeah, like trying and, to preserve them. They had to. They couldn't go into hyperspace and kill them. She's this, the last of their species or whatever. Yeah, so this little nigga been eating frogs the whole show. Yeah. No, he's like he's like fucking busting into there and eating like deviled eggs, bro. Like yeah, he's just a gulp. and they tried to cancel him out, saying what was it, genocide? A genocide. Even it was kind of genocide. Yeah, it was. <laughs> the last it was one intentional. It's, it's more like he's character. hungry and a baby. It's a fictional but, baby, like, and, that, and he's mean? hungry. And, and he's like, hungry. Whatever. He doesn't say anything. Right. Like what? No, he's just like he just, keeps eating, he just, just keeps, keeps eating them. He just keeps eating them. It's like a stuff. baby. He's like reaching out for him. Like ah. You know, like, <laughs> how's he, wait, how's he reaching out for him? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's already recorded. Yeah. Bro. You can, go revisit that. <laughs> we have to ride that one back. <laughs> it's a, it's a, but yeah, no, I mean, like they really. I never saw any of this. And this so is part of the reason I don't have eggs? Twitter because I can't. Man, I can't deal with this. Like yeah. I get the highlights of Twitter on Facebook. The right. funny shit gets posted as memes. Yeah. Right, right, right. So let's get back to the topic here. So let's yeah. talk for a minute. Let's talk on like a what if, like a what if this passes. What do you think would change in America? Let's say the first two years. Okay, well, a lot's gonna change. Yeah. Uh, Come on, according to what according to what you know, I know about this bill. It's, it's okay. called um, the Moore Act. It's like uh, marijuana something. I don't. But it, what it, what it comes with it? I'm sorry, I can't remember what they actually call the thing. But, okay. Yeah. But what comes with it is that they're going to decriminalize it, meaning they're taking it off of the scheduling system, which allows th- states to regulate it, do whatever they want. Mm-hmm. Um, also, if the federal government really wanted to get involved, they could start regulating it. Okay. You know? 
but not as a scheduled drug. Just, you know, FDA could approve it and be like, all right, well, we approve of White Widow, but we think sour diesel's bullshit. Like, <laughs> oh, whatever, uh, you know, they could go into all yeah. that, whatever. No, oh, no more red yeah. hair. Yeah. Okay, okay. You want to you wanna get some fucking stoners mad. Yeah, you're right. Mm, like, don't tell the government what, what I can see. Well, we're being an OG kush. Cause mm, it just the gets government you too better high, get out of know, my right? jar. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I want you sure. out of my jar. All right. So, but, <laughs> but what it would do is any federal job that you, I mean, if you guys have ever had a federal job or you've applied for one, you know there's drug tests involved. Right, oh, right, yes. right. Well, yes. if you pop dirty for pot, they can't deny you the job. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one thing that would happen. They're still going to have a conversation with you, though. No. Nope, they can't. No, they well, can't. They, I mean, like, not unless they have reason to believe you're high at work or something. They're not, so they're not going to be like, we found a high concentration of THC. <laughs> I mean, well, like, well, you're not they, disqualified, but we just want yeah, to say Yeah, but I mean, that they couldn't say it. It's like, uh, you know. You just couldn't be high okay, at for work. For example, like right now with drug testing, they right. can't. There are certain things they could test that would tell them, like, say, if you were male or female. Uh huh. When testing your urine, but that would also tell them if you're pregnant or not. So mm. they can't test those parameters. They, right, they can't right. know about that. Right. Ah. So when the labs do this, that Thank you ain't coming God. back with it. It's just taken off of there. Yeah, if it shows yeah. up in the test, like the matter. It's not on the parameters. Right. This is not your business. Beautiful. Now, if you were to get into say an accident yeah. while at work, like then you know, can. and then you know, like a workers' comp situation. Yeah, they're going to test for pot. Yeah. I mean, they can still do that. Right. But they can't deny you employment, and they can't fire you for it. And they really can't judge if you were high Of course not. What, what, if you were high at work, no, they couldn't. But they're still going to get THC concentrations. Right, right, right. You know, like, yeah. and, that, that's, and that is the only argument I've ever heard that I actually will buy against legalization is that, you know, as far as DUI is concerned, or anything in a situation where, you know, it's illegal to be impaired or it's a right. danger to public safety, like mm-hmm. UI, uh, there's no real reliable test oh, to snap. know if somebody's high at the moment. I mean, right. you can test their blood and you can get a high level of THC, but that doesn't mean they're stoned at that moment. Right, exactly. They might smoke a shitload of weed. They didn't smoke that day. Right. You know? So, uh, I get that. Uh, to me, that's not a good enough reason to start making things illegal. But right, right. But right. I do understand the concern there is that there's no reliable way to test to see if somebody is actually stoned in that moment. Okay. I, I got to change directions real quick. I forgot okay. to tell you guys. Uh, I accidentally snitched on somebody. What? Accidentally, dude. So. Oh um, no! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I want to hear the story, dude. All right. So last last night, this morning, like three forty-five, I'm coming home coming down Saturn Parkway so I'm coming in and there's one other car and they're like you know about to get on 65 North mm-hmm. and then out of nowhere you just see the headlights careen off the road just whoa whoa okay. and then it hits boom you just see it just holy it shit almost hit one of the light poles on the side but okay. it swerved to the right so I pull over on the side of the road but like I'm all the way you know on the yeah, other, yeah, other yeah, side yeah. of the street so I called nine one one like, yo, y'all gotta send somebody because yeah, I just watched a crazy fucking accident. <clears throat> right, right, and like, right. and I'm thinking like someone's definitely fucked up. Yeah. So as they're on the phone though, like I'm I'm sitting there looking at them, and then the car starts moving, it starts driving, and you can see like it's like they're trying to get up. out of there. Yeah, they're like, trying to get out. So I I keep seeing the headlights come up to really the top good. of the ditch. And then they would just roll back. Oh, no. So like, I was like, no, 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 never mind. They're good. They're good. <laughs> ah, you might want to send somebody. I don't think they're going to get out. <laughs> and then like finally, like uh, uh, as I was getting off the phone with them and uh, and I pull off, I'm looking and he's trying to get out. But it was like that desperation, like trying yeah, to, you know, when they, yeah, yeah, you yeah. try to go up sideways in the ditch. And I'm like, yeah. and I'm like, oh, snap, they're definitely drunk. Yeah, gotta yeah. be, dude. They're trying yeah. to get the hell out of there. Gotta be. So that's when I felt bad. I was like, oh. Man. You just, there's no way you're about to get out of that ditch. And when they finally do come. So I'm sorry to that person. I thought somebody was hurt. Yo, well, if you're listening. On that last um, one, I was just like, I was like, no, that was a desperation squeal of the tire. Right <laughs> if you're listening, contact the Who Dat podcast. Uh-oh. And they'll put you in touch with me because I guarantee your ass caught a DUI on that. Yes. <laughs> like, like, but but, you, but you I got know, you a lawyer. I got you. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Gotcha. That's what, I'm sorry if I if I let but you, you know get, what though 
but no, I got you a lawyer. Concerned. But listen so, though, listen. Yeah. But I got the, you a lawyer though. I got you. <laughs> on the flip side, you may have saved somebody's fucking life. You may That's have saved their True. life and maybe a mom that was traveling with their two yeah, kids. Or, I mean, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Somebody could have been on DN or some shit too. Yeah, man. Right. Like, he might have saved somebody's life for sure. Yes. And I get I wouldn't call that snitching on something. Man, because as I pulled off, like I just I heard the the Wheel, and I was like, Oh, that's a desperation. They're trying yeah, to get out of that motherfucker. Yeah, they're like, they're yeah. To, yeah. yeah go. they are trying to get away. Oh. And that's when I was just driving, like, Oh, oh shit. Man. <laughs> well, <laughs> if, you're, if you're listening, uh, my boy B is really sorry about that. And, <laughs> and if you need legal representation, right. just contact, boy, just, just, just contact the Who That Podcast that puts you in touch with me. We're good to go. Yeah, yes. there it is. All right, sorry I had to get that off my but, chest. Um, <laughs> I just needed this confessional for just one minute. I woke up this morning thinking about it. I said, ah, oh, shit, I hope they're all right. <laughs> <laughs> you checking just busted to see? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a mobile patrol. Like yeah. Uh, so, DUI around 4 a.m. Uh, <laughs> like, so do they plan on expunging? Yes, and that's another thing. That's a big one That's too. another thing that comes in there. Okay. This is what Come I really on. wanted Shoot to. Uh, chair, I, what I really <laughs> wanted to look into, and I didn't have the chance to. Yeah. Because the bill is rather long, as they tend to be. And I didn't yeah. go, right now, fuck all that. Find it. I ain't got time for that. They ain't got no cliff notes to read this. Right. Right. But uh, <laughs> there's only so much interest. Yeah. Right. We're, well, it's not the matter of interest. It's just I don't have the time. Right. You know, Th- like, those things are huge. Yeah, yeah we're talking about hundreds of pages. I know. Like, it's, it's complicated, and like you know, uh, like can we get this on audiobook? <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> like, uh, I'll oh, that might something. be a business we can start. Oh. We, we just audio book yes. in like law. Yeah, law, law. Oh man, if you could get it to integrate to like the new cars, like you know, yeah, with the little push buttons, and we'll just make it the an chapter app. you want. Make yeah, it. yeah, make it into an app, and yes. like you could see the display come up. Be like, no, 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 uh-huh. I need to know about expungement. So, yeah, like, so you, you search for certain words. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. search certain words Shit, or phrases man. in it. Boom. Yeah, uh, I love that idea because right, I would be using that traveling to court before hearing this. Hey, that is the trademark idea. Yes, it is. You heard it here first, and as a matter of fact, uh, I don't do anything with IP law, so I can't say anything about whether or not we trademarked that. But right. but I'm gonna assert that we did. So do not fuck around. Or we will. Right, we exactly. will. We'll figure it out in court if we get. Hey, stay. people. Yeah, well, I will, we'll, I'll, wait, I'll let a judge tell me I can't do it. Exactly. Right. Right. Goddamn right. <laughs> I'm still scared but, of but, shit. Uh, but yeah. So what you were talking about with expungements? Yes. That is an anticipated part of it. Okay. Now I'm curious about it, and what I wanted to read is. How how does the federal government tell states to expunge the criminal records of people who are convicted of state crimes? Mm-hmm. You know, and this becomes a constitutional issue, and it's one of the big, 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 big arguments right. that conservatives and liberals all fight about is states' rights. Right. You know? Well, they fought a civil war over it. Right, let's right, not, right, let's, right. Let's not make that too confusing. The, the right in question was the right to own slaves. Right, but right, it, right. it really was it's a matter right. of state rights. And the yeah. question, <laughs> can the federal government ban slavery? Right. Or is that up to the states? Right, right. And the same thing happened with abortion. Right. You know, uh, the, before the Supreme Court made their decision in Roe v. Wade, mm-hmm. it was a matter of states decided if it was a crime or not. Mm-hmm. You know, and, um, and so that would be... Uh, that's what I don't understand, and how that how how they plan to do that. I don't I don't think it would work well, personally. Yeah, like how you do. Yeah, that's a whole lot of free my mean, nigga. Uh, da 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 yeah, da. Exactly. Yeah. And right. they all just back. They hear it back at yeah, it. Yep. Yeah. But mean, you I, can bet. You can bet your bottom dollar. Conspiracy theories. Listen here. All right. Conspiracy theorists. You can bet your bottom dollar. That they have a plan for them guys when they come out, though they've oh, got something. Yeah, something. They got a plan. Uh, you gonna yeah. put? You gonna have that many people coming out especially across the if, country? Especially if future mm. Kamala Harris is the one signing the bill. Oh, she got something. They got for something. Yeah. There's She's a got reason. Something for you. She son. got a plan. Oh, man, Your best better be to come out. Get out for paper, whatever you own, and then just leave the country. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I hear that Venezuela is the closest place that does not have an extradition treaty. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, that's... Cuba, if you can get to Cuba, but, you know. What's that? I wonder what that currency flip is like with Venezuela. Oh, it's yeah. bad. No, no, no. It's you don't bad. want that. Uh-uh. No, oh, man. No, man. Well, well, that's it's what good, it's good for. for us, but, right. uh, but I mean, it's still not going to be worth a shit. You know, you're going to yeah. pay him more in U.S. dollars just to find a cheeseburger. Ah. And it's going to be like 75 million 
you know, whatever the, the currency is. Thing. Yeah, it was, yeah. It really is like you get a McDonald's dollar double cheeseburger for like twenty bucks. Yeah, no. yeah. See, so I mean, no. just based on the scarcity. I need, right. I need, a, I need a good place where I get a good transfer. Yeah, yeah a exactly. Good transfer. Uh, I feel you. I feel yeah, you. Yeah, um, yeah. Continent Africa has a lot of wonderful places. Just to, well, uh, yep. Uh, they also have warlords. Oh, I know. And child soldiers. Child soldiers. And child and soldiers. Machetes. Can you imagine? Yes. Yeah. But it's all about and the, and they the don't thing, but no nah. <laughs> we're done with that conversation at that point. I have the wrong color paint job. To go to <laughs> I'm not going to the motherfucking the thing, Congo. The thing is, though, if you if you get there and, and and you get on the right side, you know what I mean. Those yeah. could those could be child rebel soldiers that guard your house. <laughs> we have to define the term right. <laughs> the right side, like which one's the right side? Yeah. Uh, I mean, which it's, side's got children with? Machetes cutting people's arms off and shit. That's <laughs> that's the most advantageous side. You can't you but can't the right side. You can't wave yeah. a flag that says "Make Coney Great Again." Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Just out there with a flag. <laughs> Coney 2020. Yeah. Oh, this is the Coney train, bro. <laughs> Make the sub-Saharan great again. Right, right. <laughs> it's not going to, you know, it's not going to happen. <laughs> So, okay, so okay. Coney's not in the sub Saharan, by the way. Right. Just so we're all clear. I just, it's, you know, <laughs> random geographical term that I remember. Oh, shit. Uh, all right, so, so uh, expungements, they're going to do the ex- uh, do expungements. It's going to be a task. Uh, states may not let people out. Now, well, no, I think, okay, so here's the deal with it that's weird is that on the federal end, if they expunge, there's still going to be limitations. Mm. You know, Say uh, uh, El Chapo, for instance. Yeah. If they had got him on weed and they legalized weed, they still gonna keep his ass in prison. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they're gonna try. He, my, my man, you know, he gets yeah. out. Yeah, hey. <laughs> that's a different story. Hey, Miss but, uh, but, but, so there are gonna be limitations. I imagine right. probably like oh, if your you... convictions of trafficking involve like violent crime and murder, and right, shit, right, right. You out. But. You know, if you just happen to fall into the system under federal charges about the DEA or something like that, right, right, they probably let you go. But that's can you my imagine main how mad to wanted. be? To be like, oh, we all getting out, and they were like, uh, uh-uh. uh, <laughs> not uh-uh, you, little murder, little murder, you staying in here? Uh-uh. No, there were accusations that you shot six people, uh-huh. including your grandma, Dirk, right. Tony, and Vinny like, is man, getting I'm out. Here on weed? No, 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 no. Did you, when you got busted for murder, you had weed on, on you. you. That's like that's, that's <laughs> yeah, different. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we are expunging your marijuana conviction. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations! It but, knocked uh, about <laughs> two years off of but, your life but, sentence. Yeah, you know. The murder yeah. charges aren't going away, yeah. fam. No. What do you think this is? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, now. come on. Now. Let's be reasonable. Right, right, right. <laughs> Just shut up and eat your cake. Okay? <laughs> I can leave the prisons now. having a celebration. Right. <laughs> can you imagine the looking, rule has real court in it? Look, <laughs> looking through court. that little slot. And everybody leaving. Yeah. And you're oh. like, fuck, I slapped that woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I'm on this assault charge. Man, they got me when I fucking punched the police dog. Yeah. It was biting me. It, right. it was assaulting an officer. They got my ass. They got my ass. Yes. Oh, half your goddamn pie oh, just yep. gets to walk out and yeah. so looking so, at them. But man. okay, so only in Spongebob. Okay, know, go, bring go ahead. Bring it back. That, you know, most federal... Marijuana charges that you probably weren't in the middle. And I'm speculating here, but I know right, how these right, bills right. have been framed in the past, and I'm mm-hmm. assuming they did the same framework because right. part of the push isn't just, well, we think marijuana's safe. Part of the push is a liberal agenda of socioeconomic uh, reparations of sorts. You know, mm. like, you know, Explain the black community people. has been kept down by marijuana possession charges. Okay. A right. perfect example of this comes from uh, New Orleans, actually. When New Orleans decriminalized pot, the district attorney did it by his own policy. Basically, it's like, uh, we're not going to prosecute. We're going to selectively prosecute simple possession. Mm. What selectively prosecute simple possession meant was, if you're a rich, white, out-of-town college kid, we're going to write you a ticket, and you're going to pay a fine. If you're black, we're taking you to OPP. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yeah. exactly. And then you have to make bond, and if you can't make bond, sucks, homie. You're just stuck. 
Yep, yeah, exactly. So, so how would this? There's be? that that that's been going on. I mean, that's the whole. That's a America. large argument over. That's the whole origin of marijuana being illegal in the first place. We didn't like yes. Mexicans and we didn't like blacks, jazz musicians and shit. Right, getting right. stoned with our white girls, you know, right, sneaking right, out at right. night, canoodling and doing the thing. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Shit it wasn't was offensive, it? so we legalized pot, or we if we we demonized pot. We turned it into right. a drug. Massive crime and wow. we demonize it. America and propaganda. Up. Yes, but, yeah, but I mean, this, it, that's how that's shit what it goes, is. man. And, that's, and, and, and we even created what the Hollow Point Bullet was that over pot or was that over cocaine? Either way, it was like crazed Negroes, no, okay. high crazed Negroes, and they created the Hollow Point Bullet. Uh, yeah. I don't know about that, but I know that tangentially related, the adoption of the 1911 and 45 ACP mm-hmm. happened. Uh, by the military because they were fighting a war in the Philippines. Right. And in the Philippines, what they were doing was this close quarter jungle combat. Mm-hmm. And they had like little 38 specials, like revolvers that were the army pistols. Right, the right, right. And they were uh, the the guerrilla warfare dudes mm-hmm. right. were like literally strapped up with bamboo that was tied together. Right. Give them machetes. They're coming out the jungle swinging and cutting the shit out of him. They'd shoot him up with heroin and shit so they couldn't feel anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, And then yeah. 38s weren't dropping anybody. Right, You know, right. you could... All six chambers, pop, 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 pop. And that dude just running up on you like it ain't shit and just chopping you to death. Oh, wow. You know? wow. And so that's how we got the 45 uh, being a military weapon because mm-hmm. the 145 is such your ass down. Right, you know, right, right, that, right. That, that slow bullet will. Yeah. Hey, you down, son. Dude, I was in the process of buying a Winchester 300. Was it 300? Uh, you know, it's a, it's a big rifle. Oh, yeah. you. I remember you talking about this. You were looking like hunting rifles. You were yeah. Like, oh, uh, 300 Magnum. Yes. That's and, a bad motherfucker. Yeah. I no. like that rifle. Yeah, I, I'll tell you about it later. But okay. you want to talk about stopping power? Oh, hell yeah. I showed him a video of him shooting a deer. Oh. That was running. And, you know, most of the time you shoot a feet, man. All yeah. right. So, man. You could use a 300 Magnum, and this is a, we're way off topic. Yeah, we are way off topic. I, I still you can remember. Use a 300 we Magnum on a deer, and it will sit it the fuck down. Yes. But, I mean, I wasn't. Know, I'm, I'm like, I'm wondering why, if you're shooting at less than 200 yards, for example, <laughs> you, use it, you know, like. Because I'm fat, and I don't feel like chasing bro, it halfway I mean, through the woods. Look, here, you, Give me an hour of your time at yeah, a range, yeah, and I can yeah. teach you to use a 243 <laughs> to be just as effective. Right, you know, right, like, right. Even out to 200 Dude, yards. But, the uh, video I showed him, sh- that poor yeah. deer did a flip. It did a yeah, flip. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was like, oh, damn. That, I mean, no. So anyway, wait, well, let's get back to the yeah. weed. <laughs> so weed how, talk. Back so to the how, weed. We how, don't kill animals. We talk about weed. Yeah. Uh, so how would this be uh, socioeconomic reparations? Like, it's really well, cool. what it would do is it would right a lot of wrongs. Okay. In that sense of what we just talked about. Because I like, prefer it to About to a lot of convictions that keep, especially young black men, in prison or jail for selling weed and weed yeah. alone. Right. You know, like, say, again, I go back to Louisiana because this is easy shit for it because Louisiana is, like, set up. It's almost like their laws were designed by the KKK. Napoleonic. Uh, no, no, it's not that part. It's just, oh, it's just oh, their just statutory the... criminal laws. Oh, but, okay. But, uh... And, Spoiler alert, some of their laws were set up by the KKK, and they're still in place today. Wow. Uh, but anyway, so, so the way Louisiana, uh, especially in New Orleans, where their, their pot laws work on civil possession, was a, a strike system. Right. Mm-hmm. Like habitual offender fever, uh, felony laws we have here. You, right. you know, you hear about three strikes, you're out, that kind right. of shit. Well, they did it with marijuana down there, and it's still in place today that I Jeez. know of. Well, it was before I left in... 2012. Uh, it may still be in place. I don't know. Actually, it's a good question. Years. I can. I have a few lawyer friends. You can down get there, ten so. years on your first offense with, uh, with marijuana down there. Uh, I don't know about that. They no, gave no, 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 not your first offense. But the problem they is, they gave Lil Boosie ten years for his first offense. They made an example, huh? What is, uh, <laughs> that's a question of what else did Lil Boosie do? Oh, no, it was just weed at first, and then he got well, caught, how much he got caught with some shit in there. Um, uh, well, that's not. We, <laughs> How much weed? You know, like we talking like I can understand varying degrees. You know, mm-hmm. I know how the system works, but what I'm talking about, simple possession. All right. In Tennessee, simple possession is less than a half ounce of marijuana. It's simple possession, casual exchange of marijuana. We have a scheduling system in the state of Tennessee. What do they have in Nashville set up? Is it what's what's their uh, Nashville? Has uh, my understanding is the district attorney Glenn Funk up there has yeah. said. 
fuck you, do not bring me marijuana charges. Right. Like, I don't much. have time for this shit. I got real crimes. Yeah, pretty much. Like, it's yep. just... Uh, no, they don't... Uh, I, you could uh, you could call it decriminalized, but it's not been decriminalized that I know of by any legislative body. It's just it's just, just Glenn Funk, uh, you know, yeah. is like I'm not going to prosecute it. So if you bring me these charges, you're wasting your fucking time. Mm. I'm gonna dismiss it. I, I don't care. Nice. Unless something else major has happened, you know. I mean, like, let's say nice. let's say that uh, you murdered somebody, right, and you got away with it at first mm-hmm. and you're driving the, the vehicle that you, you know, had this dead body in and it's got blood all up in it, mm. but it's not visible. Like it's not obvious. You know, we're not talking Pulp Fiction where Marvin, poor Marvin got shot in the head. And right, right, right. Was, right. You know, RIP Marvin. <laughs> but, in but, the back seat. Rest in heaven, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, though. A little bit of a conversation. Uh, point is, but, the, but there is a significant amount of blood in there that if you were to look through the vehicle, yeah. you would see it in the floorboards and shit. Right. Yeah. All right, so you get pulled over for speeding. And you just burned a fat ass blunt, and the car smells like weed, like a motherfucker. Right. I'll pull you out. Say, man, it smells like you know Cheech and Chong reunion or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you gotta get off the car. Like we gonna, we gonna search it. You tell them no, they don't really care because it's a search incident to arrest. We get in. You guys want to talk about your rights? We can do that at a different time. But right, right. Anyway, right. so let's get to the point where they're gonna search your car no matter what. Anyway. Uh, mm. So they search in your car and they start seeing blood. And they're oh, like, "Yo, oh. hey, homie, I don't know what happened here." You were like, oh, "I don't know, groceries?" <laughs> Question mark. You know, like I don't know, like steaks. Steak <laughs> yeah. some shit. Anyway, so they arrest you for the pot at that point because they suspect that some more fuck shit's going on. Uh, so then they bring out their crime scene shit yeah. and they start digging into it. Turns out. You know, you murdered that little girl that died three weeks ago that the news is all pissed off about. Right. Or at least you, that, that little girl's body was in here and her blood was in there. You know, mm. like some shit like that. Now they don't give a yeah, fuck about now they're not thing. throwing out your pot charge. Yeah, because right, yeah, right. the pot charge led to Dude, that, their discovery. Right. Of that. Yeah, well, yeah, they're not going to throw that It's out. the other gateway drugs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the gateway uh, drugs or something else. Damn. Fucked by right, government. right. But yeah, so, so that was you got to look at it that way. And that's... One of the reasons oh, yeah. police are so adamantly against marijuana being decriminalized or legalized is because it's their easy catch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, we can investigate all kinds of crimes because I smelled ma- marijuana stank. Mm-hmm. I smelled it on him. Look, it's black. Oh, yeah. He smokes mm-hmm. marijuana for sure. Look at sure. yeah. that white boy with his hair past his shoulders. I bet you he smokes pot. Mm-hmm. You know, most definitely. Now. uh... I like the fact that it's not legal though. Why? Because if it's it's the it's the only way black people are like being able to get a, a piece of it right now. Like if it was legalized, it would ju- it wouldn't like we we. Uh, you you're talking about like, economically. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I got you. Yeah, and I, like, you know, I this is interesting. Uh, uh, the podcast that we run, uh, uh, I guess a, a friendly little you know sidebar thing here about right. friending opinions is we uh, we interviewed. Uh, Basically, like the head legal, like mm, I want to say, consultant, right, for mm-hmm. states that are legalizing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and I apologize, sir. I think your name is David Lakeman, but I might be making that up. Okay. And mm-hmm. if I'm wrong, I I definitely apologize. But he's we not. Had, we he's had not good, watching. <laughs> we had a, we had a good conversation about this, and in the states where he was helping them implement their legalization policy one of the main things they did was they focused business licenses mm-hmm. there's a set amounts like uh liquor licenses like say uh-huh. you want to have a bar you know i don't know if you guys know this but liquor licenses for a bar a lot of states or a lot of counties or whoever's in charge will only give out a certain amount per year or they right. allow a certain amount of existence right. so you gotta wait for a bar to go out of business before you can get one uh. so they made the system so that if you were black, affirmative action, you're Whoa. at the top of the list. Oh, okay. If and then this is the funny part, and this is where I got on that little ass about their liberal shit. Because right. liberals always they wanna they they mean so well. It's like 
It's like a puppy trying to bring you your slippers in the morning. Like they done chewed <laughs> on them and slobbered all over the motherfucker. Yeah, 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 they yeah. mean well. They yeah. mean so well. But, just, but they aware. fuck it all up. Because <laughs> they don't know shit about it. They're just like, oh, those poor black people. Right. Let's help them. You know, like, oh, by creating laws that are going to fuck them even worse. Uh, right, right, Welfare. Right. Fucking yeah. project housing. Ooh, project housing sounds so good. We'll just give, we'll put them all in that one little area. Yeah, in a giant right. high rise. <laughs> this high will rise. help them. This will help them. And then in the police are like, oh, that's rise. a high crime area now, sir. And uh, <laughs> if you part wrong, we will literally and, shoot you. And let's, hold on, let me jump in here real quick. It's, it's, it's not a high crime area because there's a lot of crime. It's a high, it's a high crime area because, <laughs> because it's a high population yeah, area. It's, it's, <laughs> and they're there all fucking day. Yeah, it was. And I mean... If you have no real connections to get into a business or get anything going, right? And but you do know Daquan, and Daquan's got you on the front, right? For like <laughs> for like several pounds, right? Of marijuana, and that's how you gonna feed you your gonna family. Start selling marijuana, right? right? I mean, like, and you're making good money, and now you can not only feed your children, but you, you can start feeding your rest. mama, and you can right. start paying for other people's rent, and yeah. like, mm-hmm. you can yeah. do good things for your community because you are making money, yeah. and it was an easy way to do it, and there was no access for you anywhere else. No one's gonna give you a goddamn business loan. Nope. No. No one. No one's no. gonna give you a loan to go to college. Dude, with the know? amount of great ideas I throw out every week on this fucking podcast, that's a that's proof nobody's gonna give you. No, nobody has approached us about starting businesses or anything. Okay, and we we, we shook out. Let me talk Go back ahead. to that though, because this is important here. This is the shit that I was giving him. Was right. The, you know what the lockout was? Mm. You can't have a conviction for a possession with intent to distribute. And I'm like, yeah. wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. The one, so you want to give that's my community. resume so at this like, point. <laughs> <laughs> so all the experts are now excluded from yeah, selling weed. Right. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Like Carlton's the only motherfucker that's black that can sell weed. Like, right. That's right. fucked yeah. up. Yeah, man. Everybody who's an expert Yo. who knows the market, who knows who's the doing market. this shit, who's got the clientele, who can oh. be successful. You let's, shut them let's, out. Let's shut out the people that are gonna thrive. Yep, and that is the classic example of why liberals shouldn't write policy. Right. <laughs> these regulations and this policy shit, y'all are dumb as fuck. Sorry, guys. So who I should we, who you should we include? Well, but you just who should we include? Well, who already has skin in the game? These uh, people. Everybody, you got Not you him. got a marijuana conviction. <laughs> you at the top of the list. You're I'm trying to get support. in on this action. I don't need look, no competition. Hey man, look, right. anyway, yeah. yo, look, I love. I don't oh, like taxes yeah. at all. I mean, income tax is the goddamn devil. It's illegal. It's theft, it's illegal, in my opinion. Yes. We're not going to get into that. But, but we know. But, but you know, if I'm going to make taxes and make money off of taxes, I'm fine with sin taxes. You know, I'll tax the fuck out the marijuana trade. Yeah. Yeah, cool, man. The shit's cheap as hell to grow. Mm-hmm. That's like, if you know what you're doing, it doesn't mm-hmm. matter. You'll be paying light bills and shit. But that's right. it. Why, that's little, why I can't wait for you to get A little bit of water. You got to water us it's being cheap. an agriculture county, Murray yeah, County, it should be, yeah, no. we're going to clean up. Outdoor grow? Yeah, it's even cheaper. Dude. Like, should, what, what are you talking about? Like, the cost for you by the time it's cured and you've paid your workers and shit to cure it, snip it, hang it up, all that shit, you looking at $5 a gram, maybe? That, I mean... What does marijuana go for on the streets? Oh, uh, well, how much are you, like... Uh, what grade? Uh, yeah, 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 let's talk about per gram. Per gram, I yeah, mean, uh, now we're 15, down. I think it's 15, 10. 15, yeah, 15, yeah, yeah, cheap shit is 10. Yeah. 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 Don't, don't, don't buy 10, 10 of G. Only buy 10 if you're college. cooking with it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. 10 of G if you're going to make I'm some butter. I'm game at this point. But when I was in college years ago, <laughs> yes. it was $20 a gram for 20, good shit. 20 of like, G. 20 yeah. a G for good shit, like if you're buying a gram. Right, right, but right. But it only cost about maybe $5 Total production cost. Total. Right. Just yeah. leave it there. Just let it just well, do it. Well, if you've ever been yeah. or you ever looked at it, you go to Colorado and these legal well, states, it's pretty close is. to street prices. Like, yeah. you're buying it normally. Right. Because they tax the living shit out of it. We could clean up here. There's a 100% county. tax. By the time that it, different things are taxed, by the time it goes from being grown mm-hmm. to being sold to a consumer in mm-hmm. Colorado, mm-hmm. 100% it's been taxed. Damn. And uh, it brings it up to about black market value. Yeah, I see. Which no one gives a shit. Now, I don't go to jail when I buy it. Sounds good. I'll pay the same price, right? I'll pay and, the same like, price. The, and I have other options. The craziest yeah. shit to me with it is I was for sure sold on the idea that after they saw how much money Colorado racked in, that this would be a no-brainer. I thought so, too. That was, I mean, as an 
actual conservative, not like a Donald Trump conservative. Right, right. Somebody who actually believes in, you know, spending money wisely and, and not just handing it out and right. thinking about regulations and, and being opposed to them in general right. because of the things it does. Like, you know, oh, mm. well, we're going to create an affirmative action program for black people to, uh, to, to be the mm. first people given business licenses to sell, but you can't have a marijuana conviction. Right. Uh, You're like, oh. What? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that defeats the purpose, right? Like, so, <laughs> do you want anyway, us to before, win? Yeah, but, like... so, <laughs> so as somebody who actually cares about that kind of thing, I'm over here like, this is a no-brainer win-win. I'm right there with you. Right. right? Fuck, this is a tax revenue stream. Well, they made so much money off of the tax, they gave money back to the community. Like, like not invested. No, they were getting checks. Yeah. Yeah, It's almost like reparations. Yes, yes, it is. It's literally like, oh, well, let's... Got my my weed check today. (laughs) I I, I don't know the exact parameters of it, but if I remember right, they actually did that to some degree. Yes, no, they did. They were focused. Like, the community is... If you were a marginalized community... Yes. You were getting checks for anybody else. Yes, you know, like that's that's they kind of did their own and that was and that was after they had <laughs> Even already. Even ten bucks, I just got ten on off, yeah, off of weed. That's, right? that's like, that. I was about to do five w. on it, and I just got ten back. Yeah, I don't know what kind of fucking voodoo man this is, but I don't like it. Yeah, like so <laughs> who's getting extra gram? I'm getting extra yeah, gram. Right. <laughs> right, me. I'm back at it. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, what is that? Reinvesting in my no, man. Not reinvesting <laughs> into my community. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's, that's how we it's, make the dollar circulate. Yeah. It's not Massachusetts yeah. because ah. apparently, if I, you know, you're not allowed to sell weed if you ever sold weed before. Right. That's crazy. So, sorry. Yeah. Like, we can't have you being experienced. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, that it just brings, uh, it's all tact because yeah. it's like, look, mm-hmm. that nigga there can't get a license, but I can get a license and I can employ this nigga. To work for me. Oh yeah. Oh, you didn't think about that. Huh? Yeah. yeah, there it is. So it's now, right he, now you now can't get a license, but now you work for me. I'm, I'm the boss. Alone. I'm the boss. Yep. I'm the boss, and now you and work you, for you me because I hold until, that paper. Now, now you got your license, and now your buddy's got a license, and you form a partnership, and then all of a sudden the white man shows up and yeah. says, "Well." Let me get you guys both as part of the Shell Corporation, and I'll start funding more. Right, right, Go right. Go your other little Carlton friends. Right, yeah. right. Come to daddy. Right. And that's the way the they do it. Into the web. Come, come. Yep. yep. And that's exactly what that shit is. And yeah. that's... Yeah, and for them, it's almost a no-brainer, though. At the same time, they're like, mm, I can get this bag right now. It may not be 100%, but it might be 75% of what I'd be grossing. Through this guy, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, and it's uh, almost a no-brainer. But, I mean, in the thing, but capitalism and business works in the first place, so right? Yeah, you do surrender a profit to financiers. Yeah, you're like, I mean, Jesus Christ, man! If somebody wants to put venture capital into your business, like, well, I'm doing all right. I could use like a twenty-five thousand dollar loan. Somebody's like, no, I love your idea. I'll give you five million. Yes, and exactly. It's like, okay, you can have fifty percent of my company. You know, like yes. oh, right off the bat, right yeah. off the bat, because sometimes you win with that, sometimes you lose with well, that. You always. Well, you think you always lose? Okay. okay. All right. Hold on. Let me I hit you that, with this. I think that if you're not careful, you always lose. You Let me hit careful. you with this. You get your five million, right? Yeah. A year later, diagnosed with cancer. Yes. You, you yeah. win. You win. Even though you're diagnosed sure, with you're cancer, out, but uh, but not you're your family, out and else that money would have went to. That's true. You give Maybe. Up the controlling share to you can have eighty some venture of my capitalist who doesn't give a shit about your business. <laughs> <laughs> or, you, know, you can have eighty percent. You want you want a hundred percent. This is why yeah. we don't give people money. Look, right. I'm, you know, I'm man, going to I, another I, country where five million is about to become three hundred million or some shit. Man, I'm going to Africa to a country where that five is going to become half a billion over there. Right. 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 I'm cool. No. No. You need to learn to speak Spanish and go to Mexico, my fam. <laughs> I, I don't know if you know this, but they have beautiful beaches. Yeah, they do. Oh, what, and what, and beautiful, beautiful transfer rate Whatever, is. even if it's Puerto beautiful Rico. Beautiful women on the beaches. Damn. Even if it's Tell Puerto me, Rico, Dominican no Republic, whatever, Brazil. I'm going to a place where it just flips. You can have the whole, you can have 99.8%. Let me get my two, my point two on royalties. 
<laughs> have fun. Go at it. <laughs> they took your business and uh, ran it into the, the, the ground. I, I'm drinking Mai Tais. Bitch, I don't know. <laughs> Tom from MySpace. So we were like, right. People were like, what happened to Tom? Oh, he suck, bro. He's like, I sold MySpace for $500 million. And I don't give a fuck what you're doing. Right. Like, you think I have I'm, half a billion dollars. I don't you care. poor, broke motherfucker. Right. You think I'm still in that white t-shirt? Yeah. <laughs> you dumbass. You, you would that's, be right. I am wearing a white t-shirt. I spent my money fucking straight. So uh, I'm he's like, that's not even me. That's not Going even me. Dick. Sex hotel in another fucking Caribbean city. Right. Uh, like, whatever. That's yeah. not even Tom. Uh, Tom's like, that's not even me in that picture no more. That's a double. I paid that nigga. You know, like. I, I gave that dude five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I literally stole that picture off of somebody's Facebook profile. Right. <laughs> Call that catfish in my dude. Right. <laughs> I didn't have a name back then. Man. <laughs> Oh shit! Y'all thought I was smart with all the math <laughs> equations and shit. <laughs> I, use, I use my shitty cell phone to take a picture of that fucking nerd who sat in front of me and posted that yeah. shit. That's him looking back like, "What the fuck you doing?" No, man, I'm, 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 the drip has always been real for me. Yeah, I'm right. The rest of the fucking nine. <laughs> that fucking nerd. The <laughs> drip that from has always picture. been real for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> All right, where the fuck were we at, man? I don't know. <laughs> let's, oh, let's bring shit. it back here. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, so um, they're going to set it up to where uh, businesses and shit like that, if you're black, will go to the yeah, top. Yeah, that's, that's what some that states have done so far as a model. And I mean, I like, do you like think I said, that, I like the idea, but... Do you, you think they would nationalize that model if, they, if, they, if the feds... I fucking like, hope not because of the dumb shit they've done right. so far of like... Excluding people, right. man, just leave the market open. Just mm-hmm. don't put restrictions on people, right? Mm-hmm. You know, like, stop that. You're talking yeah, like a libertarian, like, come on, man. You let me tell you a secret on uh, on that end <laughs> is that any hustler who's gonna get locked out of the liberal model, he's already got a plan, yeah, to that's hustle true. the fucking white man who's about to finance his shit, yeah. right? He's already got a plan, yeah. Man. Don't, yeah. don't, don't put unnecessary roadblocks in his way, exactly. Because, no, we, do it's it's, it's like, like people nowadays we, we running off on the plug anyway. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but dude, the playing field. Right. You know, like, it's it's just like people when they receive that COVID payout money and they just ditch their businesses. Yeah, yeah we know about y'all. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Yeah, we looking at you. Bro. Yeah, like mm-hmm. that's the I same see, thing. I see y'all whining and crying about. Oh, no mm-hmm. one protected us. No, actually, what you did was you just shut your shit down and were lazy. Yeah, and, and took and that payout money. Yep, yeah. and yeah. the employees got it, and you weren't treating them right in the first place. They yeah. sure as fuck didn't want to come back to work when uh, they were making eight hundred and fifty dollars a week. Right, not work. Right, yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. A, well, that's you, decent man, money. I'm not going back to paying, getting paid twelve dollars an hour for your ass. You were a shit manager, and right? You, right. Like, you treated me like shit in the first place. Yeah, Sorry, you going through the struggle now because you took the payout, didn't use it properly nope. to pay us and keep us afloat. Yeah, go fuck yourself, man. Yeah, it's a lot, man. I heard so many people contact me about business owners, like people they work for that literally. Did not come back. They didn't even close, oh, yeah. close their business. But motherfuckers were still key holders. Wow. Had access to... Yeah, we'll talk about that oh, after man, the show, no, too. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I get clients still, like yes. we'll potential clients coming in to talk about that. And I'm like, you need to holler at the EEOC. Yeah. yeah. I can't make money doing this. Like, but I do want to help you and find the right avenue so you can get some, just, right. you know, like some justice Damn. for this. But I can't. Look, man, I'm they still had here. the keys. Yeah, picture this. Yeah. Picture you going to your job. You're a key holder at your job. Yeah. You show up. Where is? What's, we'll call the guy Bob. Oh, Bob. I know he's the owner, and he'd be slacking. Where's Bob at? Two weeks go by. <laughs> Where the fuck is Bob, Bob at? Bob is gone. Bob still has not showed the fuck up. The, the shelves are bare because nobody ordered anything. Because that's fucking Bob's job. Because he's the owner. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. It's like. And you have some assholes over here like, oh, no, I can't figure out why my business is shutting down. Well, you treated your employees like shit. You yeah. didn't pay them anything. You never offered them any kind of benefit. Yeah. You know, you were basically a slave driver with this shit. Yeah. And I, now they're getting paychecks yeah. from the government they to paid. sit on their ass. They felt, yes, when the, gov- the government, what the government did is they set a bar. And it was like, if you're not making this every week, 
Like this is what we giving y'all yeah, every week. Giving, giving it. Oh man, look, that, this yeah. is beautiful giving. for a lot of people. Oh, it was for me. What, what, did it, what was it? Uh, what is it average out to? It was something like after taxes. It was something like twenty three dollars an hour. Yes. After your taxes are paid. Yes. God. To sit on your ass takes you five minutes to get online and fill it out. Yep. Once a, Once week. a week. Once a week. Five. You work. Why you five sat minutes at home week and didn't do shit? And so we. <laughs> <laughs> It's because you had all the money, and then nobody wanted to touch you because of COVID. So yeah, right. Like, ain't nobody pulling you over, arresting you, nothing, mm. nothing. Oh man, I have heard some fun stories about that. People do you on. They put that mask on. Now you can't smell my alcohol, my breath, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> they put the mask on, like man, I'm fucked up, but I got the mask on. And I'm like, that just worked out for me. They're like, bro, I got pulled over. And I was drunker than a skunk. They let me go. Yeah. I had the mask. I didn't smell oh, you got. Anymore. <laughs> start rolling that window down. All you got to do is go. <coughs> no. As the window goes just down. Go back up. Man, sorry, sorry, roll, you roll, know, roll, I got a speeding ticket the other day on my way to court uh, out in the middle of bumfuck. Oh, wow. Oh, like five minutes from court. Wow. And it was funny because my client okay, was, man, got, man. got busted for driving on suspended, but it was because he got a speeding ticket, too, okay. in the same area. Oh, wow. So, like, I come walk, walk into court like 10 minutes late and apologizing to him, and I'm like, I'm right, sorry, man. Right. You know, like... I uh, mean, to be a little bit late. And he's like, oh, that's cool. You're good. And, uh, and I was like, well, I had to tell you, I was late because speeding ticket. So I'm going to go talk to the judge about some things real quick. Uh-huh. Our solution for this was uh, we're going to reset the case so that he okay. can go get his license back because he's eligible to get it back. Okay. He just has to go get it reinstated, whatever. And I was like, your Honor, if you don't mind, uh, would you put me on the same docket? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, oh, wow. You know, I was Did like, you, I, you know, I'll go do this traffic school. I mean, I ain't got a ticket in like 10 years. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I have a clean record. Right right. man, my, my shit's been spotless. Yeah, you know, I only like, got one so traffic. I'm, like, I'm eligible for traffic school if you're cool with that. Yeah. You know, he's like, don't worry about court costs or anything, but I'll put it on there. Bring me the certificate that you did the online class. <laughs> and, like, just throw it out, and I'm like, all right. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes. yes. Yeah, but uh, I told my client, I was like, hey, man, yeah, I, I know that, you know, I don't know how many times you have interactions with courts, but uh, I'm sorry that your lawyer's on the same docket you're on. Yeah, right. They <laughs> 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 yeah, find my name not far down no. from yours. <laughs> you're talking to him, you're discussing the case, they call you that. Hold on a second, my nigga, I gotta go up here. <laughs> hold on, I gotta go up here real quick, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, right back. just call my name, yeah, hold on. <laughs> Hold on just a second, bro. Dude, dude sitting on a bench behind you. Is that your lawyer? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. He's a... He in here, too. <laughs> we were sellies. <laughs> no, I, was, I was saying, man, never let it be said I'm not a man of the people. Right, right. right. And not in, that, not in that Morgan and Morgan and shit. You know, like, <laughs> I'm actually a man of the people. Right, um, right, right. We were I'm sellies. I'm right here with you. I have the same struggles. I have the same, same struggles. Pockets. <laughs> So, let's, let's rewind just a little bit here. Let's get back to the way you talk. Okay. So, and it's just for the listeners here. So, okay. So, we're talking about expunging people, releasing people. We've talked about how um, minorities are, are getting bumped up to the top of the list to open businesses, but they will need... they. Will, they There's can't have a record pre- oh, con- conviction. Yeah, so just, so just so just let y'all know. I don't... I don't so when y'all ready to run this business, call uh, me. I will front I man your shit. I don't have it. I don't have one either. So, um, what else? Uh, okay, so oh, the, uh, the, I guess other aspects of it. You've got the expungement that mm-hmm. we were talking about. Okay. Um, the real thing though that I guess we should really talk about is, all right. So the House passed this bill. Okay. That is historic to some degree because that never happens. Right. Yeah. I, I, right. I mean, every time that say the state of Tennessee starts going towards legalization, someone Yay! introduces, uh, you know, like some bill to legalize or mm-hmm. to decriminalize or something like that, and it makes it through one committee, and mm. everyone's like, "Oh shit, it's happening!" And then it gets shot down by right. like the actual house. Like, even, not even the lower chamber approves it. You know? Right. 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 So it is historic, especially on a federal level. That okay. That actually passed. I mean, that, that that's that's pretty remarkable. So how mm. long till we know? Oh, how, on this one? Yeah. Uh, you go ahead and chalk this as a loss. Oh, yeah? Mitch McConnell ain't letting that shit happen. Not if it's not oh. a victory for him. Yeah. But the Republicans don't get any credit after, yeah. the, after, the, after the four years of the Trump 
Uh, travesty. But really, you really th- but they all they all have to recover. You know from what that. though? Man, you got to recover from that shit. Like you can't you can't take L's left and right. Like, but, the, but I <laughs> think they've been taking L's so hard recently. I think this might like because it like it's historic. It's just the fact that it even made it this far on a federal level. Right. It's going to get those states that were already on the fence about it just to tilt over themselves. And this is honestly, I mean, I I don't really want to use the comparison of abortion to legalizing marijuana because like right. wow, Whoa. one is a very horrible <laughs> thing to talk about. The other one is you know, <laughs> sweet that no one gives a shit. Oh. You know, but. But Look who we had podcasts, everybody, this. where abortion is kind of like marijuana being legalized. <laughs> no, 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 goddammit, no. Oh, then I blaspheme. No, they definitely gonna hate me. Oh, but anyway, though, no, but no. Uh, uh, what I'm saying is, it's in terms of criminal law in general <laughs> yeah. and changing opinions of people. Right, like, right, like right. The whole reason. Yes, the court got definitely. involved is because uh, he brought that around the, though. The, give him a gong. Because, because give him a gong issue. for that one. He brought that around. That was great. Thank I like how you bring that. that was <laughs> let me smooth. let me because, reel because this back the, in. Well, but, but but because the, the it's a, what the court considers like the Supreme Court considers a ripe issue. Mm-hmm. It's the, meaning that we need to talk about this shit that's getting real. Mm-hmm. And how that happened was a lot of states were decriminalizing abortion. You know, like they were making it legal for abortions to happen. Right. Enough, and, enough, sort of that the that the court had to take notice. It, well, yeah, they. I mean, like it's a major public issue. Right. You know? uh, personally, in my opinion, I agree with the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg that this was a states' rights issue all along, and the court should have never got involved and mm. should have done shit with abortion. They should have just let the court because public opinion would have changed. It would have been legalized. It would have been fine. You know, mm-hmm. like the states were going that direction. I think it's the same way with marijuana, but. I also think that if you want to see it go faster, yes, decriminalize it on a federal level. The House has the right idea right now. If you take that off the Controlled Substances Act and it's not controlled anymore, Mm -hmm. the states are free to start legalizing. There are no more concerns. There's no more concerns that the feds are going to show up at people's door and fucking kick it in for having a small business where they sell some weed. Right. They said potentially uh, if they legalize nationally, each state could make a billion dollars. Yeah, oh, oh, easily. I mean, easily. Shit, that's every state that's selling it's doing it already. Right. It's like, and not only that, that, but like Colorado and states like that, that money goes into their education coffers. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like, like when we. Have y'all seen the schools? Have y'all seen any of those uh, schools in Colorado? Yeah, that shit's lit, bro. Bro. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Their schools are nice, bro. Yeah, because they have weed. It's really They got drug money. Oh, really? It's really fucking nice. I wonder what their lunch is. Like, how are their lunches? I. Oh. Well, look, man. You, we, we both grew up on them square pizzas. And uh, those you know what? I would shit. still eat them square God pizzas. Goddamn right, though. bro. If I could get them square mm. pizzas and some ranch, you remember, oh, I would be happy as shit. Remember, remember yeah, the, and some ranch. Remember, remember the chicken sandwiches they'd have too. Oh, oh yeah, God. those were yeah. fire as fuck, oh, man. My God. Yeah. God. I can't. I can't even find those fuckers anymore. Bro, those, those chicken man, sandwiches I I was a special order. Yeah. They were man, like, yeah. yo, put me on with whatever get, that was. Too. Yo, I, I know that. I know we got somebody that's been in the cafeteria. Ass. Like, yes. what's the plug? Wait, Nick Nicholas Kendig, you worked in the cafeteria. We need square pizza. What is the name on the side of the box? <laughs> I'll order them myself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, Brandon Reese. I need, I need, I need you worked in the cafeteria. What is the Yo, name yes, on the please, side of the please, box? Please, please yeah. Nick. Just come take on. a picture. You remember me? I, just take on. a picture. Just take whoever it is. Take a picture of the box. And Go just, to the Who That Podcast page and inbox it to us. Well, yes. Uh, yes. Didn't, didn't, uh, didn't Dan Newcomb's mom work up in that kitchen? Oh, yeah. 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 So she was a veteran. So, so did Cindy Hartley. Uh, Cindy Hartley. Uh, uh, right, right, mom. right. Yeah. We got some leads. Ladies, all right. You, ladies, if y'all are listening. <laughs> yes. Please, we need please. to figure out where the plug's at. <laughs> we are serious. We yeah. are for real. Uh, I mean, honestly, we could talk about a finder's fee. Right. I mean, I mean, right. I mean, it's only you. right. It's I only right. You. Just Dude, put me on the plug. Is, put what? me on the plug. Like, what don't is, worry about it. If we made a food truck that just sold food that we From had the old lunch, y'all. Oh, how how much 
how hilarious would it be to go to these gentrified neighborhoods and shit outside of like Vanderbilt? Yeah. Whatnot, and unironically sell this cheap ass food back to these rich kids. Right. Yeah. We got government cheese oh sandwiches. Yeah. We got government cheese Square sandwiches. Pizza. Yeah, boy, man. <laughs> Square pizza and fucking government grilled cheese. <laughs> and making, and like. We're yeah, selling it for like $7.50. Yeah, like, yeah. Selling it like it's like a new wave idea. <laughs> <laughs> Go, yeah. Uh, you know, like, oh, yeah. Fuck the power and shit. Yeah, buy the yes. government cheese from us for like, right. you know, 10 times they a month. Yeah, Our you know. overhead is $37. <laughs> <laughs> and then we could go get some of the retired lunch ladies to come back. Like, oh, and bring them back. And actually pay them right? Yeah, oh, ca- cameo man. man. Okay, actually, wait, wait, I'm trademarking again. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not an intellectual property attorney. Right. However... We will. A judge Lunch is going to tell us. I love y'all, but sure, we got to yeah. stick to that finder's fee. I can't have you stealing this idea. No. Right? You don't cut the middleman out, man. We're trying to make bread. Yeah. 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 Come on. Come on. We yeah. can all eat. We can all eat. We can all right. eat. <laughs> so what, what, what will we call this food truck? Call it school days. Or we can call it school haze when they legalize no. weed. Oh. And you get your school lunch with your weed. Oh, Make it an edible little, little square piece of yeah. Oh, man. Man, oh, nice. and now this just School became days. a billion dollar idea. Oh, yeah. the boy, the boy. <laughs> you know, I, y'all, I know the point is to talk, but y'all got to stop talking. Yeah. Yo, yeah. you know what I mean? We got, we really got to stop. You doing have this. the right to remain silent. <laughs> right, right. Apparently, you this, do not have the ability. <laughs> this, this is how I screwed myself when it came to running for election too. Oh, yeah. I, I was the only one running. And he was we so got, happy to tell everybody, I'm running uncontested. <laughs> I'm running uncontested. <laughs> Bro, three like, weeks yo, later, three weeks later, wait, it was wait, wait, five contestants. Yeah, so like kids running uncontested, but the yeah. like, yeah. right the fuck yeah. Yeah. Youngest candidate, and he's black? Yeah, fuck, fuck that. that. <laughs> Danny Coleman was like, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I got wait, you. Wait, 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 did, 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 is Danny, did he, is that yes. who he lost to? Yeah. Right. Well, look, Danny's yeah. my homeboy. I'm yeah. a conflict of interest here. Danny, Danny's man. awesome. He watches the show. He's a friend of the show. I hope so, man. Yeah. yeah. Shit. <laughs> he watches well, yeah. for Danny, but I mean, <laughs> sick move, Danny. You know? Yo, <laughs> Danny, Danny sitting there said, He's like, I'm going to go ahead and move into the fifth district or whatever. Like, I'm taking it. For yeah. this. Like, no yeah. one's running? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we'll <laughs> see about that. Oh, my dear. No, nah, Danny's, Danny's good people. No, nah, I wouldn't so say I'm not. Really Paco, I'm thought, lost, Paco right? thought, the, thought it was funny when I came and told him, like, bro, it's five contestants now. He's like, I tried to tell you they'd be listening. Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> so, so Danny just won up. He was no, the only other contestant. It was, it was right, like right, four right, people right. all got the memo, right, like, right, what? Okay, okay. So that's yeah. cool, that's cool. Uh, other other than Danny, it was like four other black folks. So, you know, oh. so we knew. We knew then. We are like, mm. They're on us. Mm. They're on us. They were just broadcasted. Paco looked at me and said, you keep thinking we small time. Nigga, we that small. All time. <laughs> <laughs> they lose our oh, buddy. Oh, they, Lord Almighty. Yeah, they take an idea like, yeah, gone. Right? Well, there it is. Uh, well, yeah. That's what happens when you go ahead and publish it. That's yo, true. That's that's true. true. Yo, you're supposed to keep that yeah. shit slick. That's like, that's a whole idea. Remember eBay back in the day when yes. everybody was actually bidding on shit? You can't buy it now. Right? Yeah, yeah, yes. That was wonderful. You were fucking dumb. If I, you were go ahead, you see a low bid, and you're like, oh. I'm gonna bid on it now. Mm-hmm. No, man, you snipe that shit right before it closes. Yes, yeah. Don't, hey. bid on, don't drive it up. I got that board for sixty bucks. It was almost a thousand dollars at the time. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. bro. Right, right on. Yeah, and I did it just. Sniped I sniped it. Yeah, the last forty five seconds yeah, is where that's where the winners. That that's the only, where the winners that, show up. That was the most frustrating thing for me as a kid. I already understood enough capitalism to get this. Like, yeah, you know, I'm like, man, why y'all keep driving the bid up? Yeah, <laughs> stop bidding. It's like seven days left. Right, like, just wait. Jesus, just wait. Just, just wait. Just wait. Just wait for we'll all it. fight it out. At the and end, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get a good deal. best man wins. Yeah, before yes. they have reserves and, and all. And they're just sitting there at the computer. Now it's just basically eBay. Is another place to shop. Yeah, it's, it's like no Amazon. Like no no. Man, I, I got a pair of 18-inch rims. They were white with a red candy apple lip on it. Mm. I got them jokers. I think I remember that. Yes, I got them jokers for $200. Oh, doing just yeah, what he because, said. Because you weren't sniped. You sniped the bitch. Oh, you yes. Driving the shit up. I waited right to the end, and I, I, I added like $50. I didn't mm. bid it up $50. 
I added like a fifty dollar. You know, you add the buffer, mm. so like they have to keep bidding, and then when they get over fifty dollars that you added, they get it. So motherfuckers was hitting it one dollar, two dollar, three dollar. You know what I mean? It's just not. Yeah. Uh, it's not equaling <laughs> up. And the time ran out. Boom. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Hey, and they sent them hoes too, and he sent me an evil fucking message. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, did. Oh, he sent me an like, evil oh, fucking man. message. Fuck you! I had to sell these things. Yeah, and two hundred. You fucking stole these. <laughs> no, no, you, you put them on the uh, internet. You did not put sale. a reserve <laughs> up. You should have got your nephew to set up your yeah, shit. Exactly. Sorry, fam. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you you what, stole what we call me. This is you got fleeced. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good vernacular. Yes. 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 So, you got fleeced. I'm so very sorry that you're a chump. <laughs> right, right. You should have sent him back a picture. Now, thank you for like the this. rims, though, because I'm about to be flossing and <laughs> yes. using $200 to, I don't know, do something. <laughs> you should have waited until the rims came and then sent him a picture back with the rims. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, fam. Thank I need y'all you. to know that I'm balling out. And I'm going to spend $200 on these shit. Yeah. I'm just going to let y'all know I'm winning. Also, oh, yeah, in yeah. the corner here is a picture of the dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you go full Charlie <laughs> Sheen. I'm winning. With the rims. I'm winning right now. Yes. 200 for some that rims. That's tiger discount. blood. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm winning right now. Mm. I went and saw Charlie Sheen. Mitch Carroll Baskin. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that bitch Carol Baskin. Do you know that Trump is uh thinking about pardoning um no, on Exotic wait, no, wait. Joe? Wait a minute, was that a federal crime? Uh yes, Carol Bad, yes. Oh shit, it was. Yes. It was an interstate crime. Oh uh, my god. Yes. He could pardon him. He could pardon him. Oh, okay. Oh, if wow. Joe Exotic gets I, out, I, man. I said some untoward things about the Cheeto in Cheeto. Uh, come on, I don't say bit. that as a liberal or anything like yeah. that. I'm not liberal. I don't give a fuck about that. I just don't like Donald Trump. I think he's an asshole. Yeah. But if, if he, he pardons, if, but if he pardons the Tiger King, come on, man, that's God. why I have a lot now, of wait, wait, that's 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 I have to put you on blast the Tiger here for King a second. Kept us going through COVID. I mean, like, yo, it came out in like March, right when we were all isolating and shit. Like Tiger King was the. It was so guy. perfect. It was so perfect, and, and he's a good guy. I would have wanted to off that bitch. You, you bankrupt my parents. Fuck Carol Baskin. Fuck yeah, Carol Baskin. My parents. God damn. You had to bring my mama into it? Uh, I mean, and, and you knew you was doing it too. She was so happy about it. I will pay some random fucking meth head to shoot you. <laughs> yeah, I will. Don't fuck with my I'm mother. At, I'm at that point. Like, God damn it, Gerald McVay is a saint. <laughs> <laughs> He's calling Jeezy, talking about Jeezy, who did you hire? <laughs> <laughs> who did you get on? Who did you get to go after Gucci? Uh, who is that? <laughs> Tell me, all right, let me call 50 Cent and see who shot him. Yeah. <laughs> who shot you? I'm sure I'm going to get something. So, Jay, okay. We... I got a free tiger. You give me a plug? <laughs> you tell me. Several. <laughs> several, bro. I can't see these motherfuckers. James, you've mentioned, you know, about your, your status with with Trump and being a conservative. Mm. Yada, yada, yada. Do you have a parlor account? No. No? You didn't go to parlor? No, come on, man. Yeah. How this you... shit already got hacked. Like, oh yeah! Oh. Not only that, but they require you to submit your, like a photo of your driver's license. Yeah, like, oh, bro. <laughs> that, was, that was a setup. He said, "I'm Republican, up. but I'm not parlor Republican." No, I'm Republican. No. Like hashtag I'm, no, parlor no, no, tricks. No, 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 no. I'm conservative. I'm yeah. not stupid. Right, right. Yeah. There's a huge difference, and I apologize to anybody listening. And y'all love Donald Trump. That's cool. Man. That's cool. That's your Yo, opinion. Hey, do you think? Look, yeah, look, whatever. It may we don't make bad decisions. Yeah. I'm a we libertarian. Are. We haven't had one of us in office Yo, yet. Ever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we still well, lose. Although, I chose the losing Joe. team. Shout out to Mama Joe. I do like Mama Joe. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I think she'd have been all right. I'll, I'll fuck with Mama Joe. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, That's what I voted people for. People like, you vote for Joe? I'm like, nah, not the Joe you want me to. Uh, uh, not, not after I saw the disaster of Joe Biden. Or, <laughs> uh, not Joe Biden, but Donald. Well, we're going to watch the Joe Biden disaster. That's another story. Yeah. But uh, after I saw the disaster of no, Donald spoilers. Trump presidency, it was like, I, I can't fuck around and vote third party. Again. No. Uh, no, we had to. I had. To, I voted for Joe Biden. Oh, no, I went Jorgensen. Around in Did you? I yeah. wanted to go Jorgensen, but like, I had to get the Cheeto King out of office. Screaming. That's like, what I was like. Nah, he was I'm, Joffrey. You know, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. It's like awful. Yes. Awful. He was not like, good like, for like, America. He was not good for any of us. He's really shitty to a yes. lot of our population. Yes. Was your skin brown? Shit probably wasn't good for you. It unless, didn't even... unless you wanted to Uncle Tom it, at which point shit just didn't change for you. You didn't get good benefits. You just no. shit just didn't change. You know you what was funny? Right. Is we, you didn't get targeted. It, Donald Trump <laughs> breeded. 
So he breeded this culture of like, like Uncle Tom YouTubers that make a career off of this shit now. Oh yeah, Diamond and Silk or whatever. Oh my oh, god! Oh, I wish I had a boo button, but I'm gonna use the gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> That's that is not a threat against Diamond and Silk. God no, bless those no, women. I hope no. that the Lord speaks to them soon. <laughs> <laughs> they can get their fucking shit right. I wonder how their viewership's doing now that it's all over. It's not over. Oh, no. It's not over. <laughs> I keep saying it. I keep saying it. Oh, man, I love it. I love I it. Keep, you want, you guys want to rap about that? No, no we could talk about wait, that. We, no, we got to talk court. about weed today. Yeah, today yeah, is we weed. A, yeah, we could talk about weed. Yeah, so. Uh, but I think we, we have, I think we covered fairly pretty much anything. Everything, What, what yeah. happened, so I guess to bring it back, what you were talking about. Yes, yes. Hold on, let me. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> All right. To bring it back to what you were talking about, though, um, as far as what does it mean if they legalize it, mm-hmm. so, or not legalize it, but they pass this bill, right. this bill becomes law, right? And we talked about the expungements and everything else. Yeah. Uh, the main issue is the states are free to do whatever the hell they want, right? Mm-hmm. Which uh, there are no restrictions. There's no more excuses, right? So you know, say for instance, the state of Tennessee, uh, they've just opposed it for whatever fucking reason, you know, and, and, and they usually will drop whatever reason they come up with. Right. Which is really, you know, the Fraternal Order of Police spends a lot of money on our campaign coffers, so, and they like the law being there because they can frame people for all kinds of crimes because I smoke weed. Mm-hmm. You know, like that mm-hmm. kind of shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> my favorite, my favorite is the pictures where, like, four cops are standing by a table. <laughs> and, yeah, like, like, like a oh. fucking little piece of glass. Yeah, they, they got the little sack there. And yeah, there's, like, there's like a, yeah. Preserving the community. Serving the community, yeah. <laughs> like, Man, you mean you ruined somebody's afternoon? Like, why don't, why don't you go after that biker club that's selling fucking heroin to like, our fucking yeah, community? Like, uh, but you're not touching them. Yeah, you're I watched you touch. guys with, like, six cars busting that person, and over here on the side of the street, some homeless person just fucking OD'd. And died. Right. Right, yeah, right. You know, like cool, but serving the yeah, community. Yeah, but serve the community. Good yeah. looking out. Go get your fees. Thanks, yeah. Dudley. Uh, go, Thanks, Dudley. Go, Dudley do get, right. go get your drug task force money that you get as fine. Yeah, mm-hmm. and turn around and go buy you a fucking armored personnel carrier. Yeah, so you can go terrorize people and Brianna Taylor somebody. Yep. Yep. Right, you know, right. Yep. They got to no, let's, they let's gotta, go fuck around and do that. Yeah, because you guys want to be in the military so badly. Right. Yeah, but you didn't make the cut. Exactly. But hey, man. At least you made it to the police force. Wow. Could be worse. You could be George Zimmerman. Oh my where, god! Where uh, you had to kill a young black kid because you weren't even good enough to be a fucking local cop. Right. Yeah. Right. I wonder. They, they wouldn't even let you write him. traffic tickets. Right. I no, wonder he, if that's like still no, he, fucks with him. Now that you gotta oh, understand, no, he's he, awful, dude. If you see him now, he's so bad. Well, not the only he signs that. bags of Skittles for racists. Yeah. See, it's just. And it's let me life. tell you. See, this is the no thing. You killed somebody through the Trump campaign. Through the Trump. You know, Trump being president, like, that was, like, some of the highest times for him because those people really, mm. like, yeah. oh, oh, held yeah. him on a pedestal. Oh, I know. Mm. Like, yep. oh. he was their Kyle. That is, it, I know. Oh, that, wow. and, and, you know, that's what I'm getting at, too, on that end yeah. as well, is that I had to vote for uh, old Sleepy Joe because, fuck it, man. God. Yeah. I, mean, I can't. I can't. Tolerate because we're tired. Like we're tired. We're tired. You know, we like, voted for Joe because we were tired, yo. Yeah. We're tired. I'm, exactly. I, I gave up. This is what it is. Yeah. I, just, I, I, I couldn't. I, I saw him, I I, I I saw him sniff a girl's hair. Whatever. Just, uh, say what? I saw him sniff a girl's hair. I just couldn't do it. It was it, My heart just... I just I couldn't I couldn't you know? get it out I can't get the image out of my head. Yeah. Like, and then I do the then I do the comparison thing and I listen to the audio of Trump talking about literally sexually assaulting women and he feels entitled to it because right. like, yeah. yeah. oh you're rich you can just grab them by the pussy by yeah, the yeah pussy. that is that's yeah I'm sorry oh, but I saw him sniff a girl's hair in an office oh, in front yeah, of no, her parents like it's just so like weird maybe, like it's you, so- you, you, you saw a video where it looked like he did that shit and even if he did that's not even close to I, I mean that's he didn't and grab him by way, the pussy. Yeah, and either way, I'm not even. He's I, don't, I don't care about any of this, man. He's yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. Like, I got do. tired of, but I couldn't vote for either one of them. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I just, nah, like, dude, like yeah. looking at, it, I was just like, you both are fucking terrible. The, yeah. I will the tell fact you this. that these are the options, I was appalled. I, I was like, I accomplished my goal. Yeah, when yeah. I cast that vote, I did not throw up. There you go. 
I yeah. waited in line for an hour and a half. I did not. I hung over and I mm-hmm. had to vomit. Yeah, hung over and, and I had And I cast my vote and I didn't vomit when I pushed the button. There you yeah. go. I even walked outside and I didn't throw up either. And I was like, that's a win. That's I feel good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I've got it over with. It's yeah. like getting a shot when you're a little kid going to the Yo. doctor's office. Man, I don't want that shot. Yeah. But Man. speaking of shot, speaking oh, of shot. No. no, we can't go there today. Okay. Uh, All right. right. No, we okay. got we got like one minute All left. Right. We can't do that. So I saw my I think I've Anybody has further questions, throw them at the podcast. We get a medical expert in here. Let's get a, well, I don't know if he's a medical expert, but he's in the medical field. Let's get a Chandler on here, Anderson, and, Hell yeah. and talk about the vaccine. Who? Chandler, Anderson. I don't know who that is. It's okay, you will. So, okay. <laughs> so yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I want to talk about the vaccine. I want to go deep. Nah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. All right, well, that's the, uh, another episode. As far as this episode is concerned, I hope that uh, you you guys got a lot of information about where we stand right now as far as a nation, as far as uh, uh, the actual legalities and progress of the bill when it comes to decriminalizing marijuana, um, the likelihood of it, and, and also where we stand as a state. And in Middle Tennessee, if you didn't know about uh, Nashville and all that type of stuff. Davidson County. Davidson County. Davidson County, yeah. Thank you. Uh, go look that up. We thank um, our guest, Mr. James McVeigh. And I know that this was very entertaining. No, we didn't smoke before the episode. Uh, yeah. yeah, what does <laughs> some of this say over here? Let's address some of this did before we go. Did y'all smoke before uh, yeah. this, talking about no, food and shit? No, <laughs> just, I really love food. Yeah, yeah. Food like, great. I like yeah. money, and if food, I like money food too. equals yes, money. Excellent. Food um, will equal money, money sometimes. So, they they, food. what does this say food. here? What does this say here? Uh, Read the name. We need uh, it's Ignacio Padilla Alcala. Okay. Right. I apologize if I just We'll just do first names. names. We need new blood in Tennessee Congress. The old farts right now would turn any bill with weed in it down. Yep. Yeah. I totally agree. Okay. Yeah. What is what is this here? Yeah, that's Julie. Julie. Holla Julie. Julie. Love you, boo. Uh, this this, is, this mama needs caffeine. Marijuana needs to be legalized, both medical and recreational. I mean, I, I don't disagree with any of that. All right. And I hope Dummy's you guide to legalities. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the app. That's the app. The dummies guide. What is this? We got is South Park coming with a new guy? What? No, I man. No, like, no, no, no. Sh- we are just trippy. Yes, yeah, so we just keep. There we go. We back. <laughs> uh, hey, Miss Bessie, I see you too. Yeah, Love yeah. You, boo. <laughs> uh, please, please do what, not hit me with. What does uh, the this Nene say? What does Nene, Nene, Nene say? Said, if you haven't smoked and started back, and you're working, then getting to lose your job and put everything until you have nothing. Think about what you should have, would have, could have done. I don't yeah. know. Boo, I don't know what that means. Um, I think what you specific uh, uh, moment we were talking about. Right, right, right. Yeah, it probably was very. Yeah, 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 sorry, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Right, right. So. But yeah, shout out to everybody that was coming. Shout out to all the viewers and, and listeners. Um, yeah, for we sure. are doing audio uh, only podcast once again for everybody that listens to us on iTunes and. Um, the other Spotify and all the other things that you can listen to podcasts on while you're at work. We are doing the audio only ones. We've been hearing y'all and reading the messages. So we're coming back with those uh, once a week. And we're going to be doing the the live. Uh, We got the food review. And in 2021, the Shut Up In Game, we're going to be really heavy on streaming us uh, uh, playing video games. So we, we are keeping up with everything for y'all reaching out and all that. Thank you very much. We do read them and try to get back to as many people as we can. Uh, right. Anything that I'm missing here? We do a lot, man. Anything I'm missing? No, no. Go I get you some good. merch. Yeah, go to the store, get some merch. Um, like Please he said, we've shit. we've revived <laughs> we've revived the uh, the whole you know audio podcast. I know we've been neglecting it doing the show, but I think we've got it all down to a format where we're ready to reintroduce it. We uploaded a new episode what last Thursday. Yes. Yeah. Last Thursday. Oh, and we do uh, the stereo app. Yes, stereo. Yes. Check there us out go. on stereo, also, guys. We we be talking reckless. On yes, stereo. we were very reckless. I, don't uh, know. I think I was probably talking. Pretty- Oh, you should hear us on stereo. You should go yes. check it out. We can get you on there one day, though. Um, yeah. <laughs> How reckless you want to get? I already put too many opinions. Out there. Yes, <laughs> I've heard some opinions without being on my own right. opinion. Right. So, yeah. yeah. But uh, I don't know, check man. all that out, though. Yeah, for real. We stay pretty busy. Yeah, we stay pretty active. We're trying to give you guys content, and yeah. we're gonna be giving you more. Um, uh, 
shout out to uh, 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 all the advertising, all, all, yes. the, all the sponsors. Uh, to we are going to be looking for new sponsors soon. We're yes. get, not getting rid of the old ones, but we're going to change it up and add some ad spots. And yeah. we've got some sponsors that have kind of aged out. They're you know like the uh, the cryptic tales, right? You know that ad spot. It's there. You know it's not Halloween, so right. we've got to one opening up real soon. So. Yes, yes. And plus we got we got so many damn shows like we <laughs> Yeah. We, we yeah, got we all can the get ads you on the audio ad spot for the cheap. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. So uh reach out if you're trying to, you know, get your uh, promotional game, advertising, marketing game up for your business in twenty twenty one. We'll have more information about that coming very soon. Right. Also uh, if you sorry, no, if you uh, if you happen to be the poor bastard that ran off the road that he snitched on. You need to, you need to reach out to <laughs> reach James. Reach out, reach out, yeah. reach out. I got you, got fam. You. Got you. Got you, you, fam. Don't be guilty of the shit. Don't Once say anything. Once again, I'm you sorry. Know, just, no, Don't you, say you're straight, shit. You're just, <laughs> he's straight. He's straight. Come bother me, and I will try to iron it out for you. Yeah, yeah. B will put money on your legal defense. Yeah. There yeah, it is. I, yes, well, B probably will, like B will, cent, B will dollar, start, <laughs> but B will contribute. Yeah, to I will. Events. I will put in on your GoFundMe. I'll, look, I'll, I'll give you GoFundMe a shout out on the show. Just, yeah, I want to see you win. Man. Yeah, <laughs> I see you win. say say my bad. Give her my I, bad. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> so my nose in something. I don't even know. Which ah. You probably had a B in your bond. Or something. Yeah. You're running off the road. Now you're trying to get out of there desperately because you got to get home. You got to get home. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought it was some yeah. other shit, man. My bad. Meanwhile, my I'm bad. making up your defense already. And if that doesn't tell you you should hire me, I don't know what does. Because yeah. this is a lawyer right here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is a real one. <laughs> this is a real one. This, 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 this is the type of lawyer you need. He can goddamn come up with some shit while he's standing in front. Ah. But, well, do we know there wasn't a bee in her bonnet? Right, <laughs> right. Says, anyone... Brandon, did you or did you not see a deer run across that road? <laughs> I can't be is sure. I... Deer... <laughs> you didn't see one, so is it possible a deer did run across that road that you didn't see? Right. It could well, it be possible. Ah. Were you too busy looking at your phone calling to see the deer? Oh. <laughs> did you hear, what, oh, did you hear that? What about us? Yeah. There? Were you texting and driving so you didn't see the deer? <laughs> like, oh, you didn't see the deer. Not now, me. was that clopping noise? Was that the hooves? Or was that the car? I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, if you'd been paying attention to not texting... Maybe you'd be a reliable witness. Uh-huh. <laughs> be a reliable witness. Your Honor, I believe this case should be thrown out. It's I'm done with this guy. An anonymous tip from this guy <laughs> who was obviously texting and driving <laughs> and didn't see the deer that hypothetically ran across the road. Yeah. And my and my client uh, uh, from Just the minding her own damn business when his <laughs> hypothetical deer showed up. <laughs> the deer showed up. This man didn't even see. Didn't even see. And he was looking at his phone. Yeah. And may I add, didn't even help her get out of the ditch. Yeah, right? Like, where were you? <laughs> where were you? Did you render aid? In exactly. any kind of way? No, you were just snitching. That's why I for busting up the outro. Yeah, yeah that's okay. <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, next week, Sunday, six o'clock. Y'all stay blessed. Don't stress. Life's just a test. Who that? Who that? Who that? All right. Man. What are we gonna transition to? We ain't even. We still live. Hold on. I gotta get it. Let me get a commercial in this motherfucker. Hey, out there, it's Kamethia. Boom. Also right, known as Mookie me. around the city. I have here Knockout Health and Wellness, your new boxing and fitness virtual assistant and app. You can video chat with trainers. Queue up previous sessions. Request libraries of various workouts, fully customizable workouts to fit your boxing needs in home. Form, technique, character building, strength, endurance, meal prepping. Hey, knock that out. Knock out health and wellness. Download on your smartphone today.
my name is Tabu. And I'm Ebony Star. Hey, my name is Sauce. Hey, what's up? It's your favorite homegirl, Phoenix. I'm a film writer and these are my tales. Thank you.